Where the fuck do I find these games? <laughs> Seriously. Actually, I know. I have a knack for finding these fuckers because goofy games make me laugh. Now, if you followed my test stream I did a little while back, I played Cheer Fucking Simulator and messed around a little bit. I was just doing some testing. And so I figured it was time to review Cheer Fucking Simulator, which is developed and published by So Sorry Soft and released in July of 2020. It can only be found on PC and it's a Steam game. And basically the point of the game, fuck chairs. Not in the sense of, fuck that chair. More like, oh fuck, I'm gonna fuck this chair into oblivion, not the game. But the Steam Store description goes like this. Chair Fucking Simulator is an immersive, engaging gaming experience that helps players connect with not only themselves, but the world around them. Nowadays with phones, texting, massive pandemic events, the story needs to be told. <laughs> <laughs> I love this description. The story is of a soul looking to reach out and connect. The game is a story of love and loneliness in dark times. Cheerfucker is an experience where gamers get to really saddle up and settle into hardcore chair intercourse Twitch gaming. What the fuck does Twitch gaming have to do with this? Every second counts in this intense, society-challenging game. <laughs> The sense of humor of this developer is fucking perfect. We need more developers like this. You will fire away with over a hundred million unique chair dating experiences. I don't know if there's that many, but there's quite a few. You flip through a dating app and fuck the chair that you want. Blast your way through one environment, learn the dark truth behind every chair and the secrets that unite them. Fuck your way to the top of the chair pile, control the pelvic thrusts and ass bumps. And yes, this is a clicker game, so you can control how fast, slow, hard, and so on that you can fuck. Although it will tell you if you need to slow down, go faster, and so on, which can be a little frustrating, but it's just how you have to time your clicks. Once you hit the right spot, it'll tell you in different ways. Oh yeah, oh my, oh god, whatever type of shit. It's pretty funny. Plus, you can climax at the end of the three acts. That's right, you can blow your load. And if you're a good enough chair fucker and make them come, they will be in your contacts and you can call them up for a chair fucking fling. Or if you ignore them, they call your ass out and make you fuck them. Or you can ignore them then and then it's basically the game's over. But that's basically chair fucking simulator. You just fuck those chairs. I should have been liquored up for this. The graphics for chair fucking simulator are not bad actually. The animations are pretty funny and well done for a one man game or I'm guessing it's a one man game. I mean there could be a few others involved maybe with the music and all that type of shit. There are different types of chairs you can fuck. The animations of the main character is pretty pretty cool and he looks goofy as fuck sometimes when you fuck trash cans garbage goes flying out which is pretty cool i mean sure it could look better but for a game like this i can't say anything bad about them when it comes to the music it's not mind-blowing but it's good some of it is kind of funny playing in the background while you're fucking a chair it's not something memorable or anything like that when it comes to the sound effects from the chair noises and the noises of the character are pretty damn funny as well but that's about it the controls it's simple very fucking simple let's put it this way all you have to do is click it's a clicker game like i said earlier now i also mentioned earlier you have to kind of click in a rhythm or double click and click fast and all that type of shit so there's a little bit of a technical aspect to it also there are power-ups you can pick up in the game that you just have to click as fast as possible the controls are very responsive so damn simple your 95 year old grandmother could play this game while she's double clicking her mouse chair fucking simulator is pretty damn funny i like the game for what it is i think it's the best game i have ever played ever i mean you could fuck a chair but seriously it's a cool game not the best game i've ever played it makes me laugh is it something I'm going to put three hours into in one sitting? Maybe one-handed with some lotion? Uh, uh, yeah, you get it. I mean, you can play this game one-handed, basically. But them weeb porn shit hentai games have nothing on chair fucking simulator. Pure and simp -ul. The game is cheap to pick up, $1.99 on Steam, and I think it's worth its price for the humor alone. It's just one of those goofy games you're going to find on Steam. Nothing mind-blowing, but I don't think that's what the developer was actually going for. I hope you enjoyed this review of Chair Fucking Simulator. Thanks for watching. Uh...